Christians hear about evolution, they might think of Darwin or fossils of bizarre looking sea creatures or dinosaurs that lived so long ago that their skeletons have turned to rock. Most feel disconnected from this distant past. I mean, millions of years are so hard to comprehend. But other Christians get immediately defensive because they feel like their faith is being attacked or even mocked. But evolution is not something Christians should feel threatened by. And evolution is not just about Darwin or dinosaurs. Evolution is about how new species are created. It is a process of creation. Because of an overwhelming amount of evidence from many independent areas of science which all point to the same conclusion, evolution appears to be the best explanation that Christian and non-Christian biologists have to understand how all life came to be, how life diversified, and how it changes. In fact, many Christians who believe that the Bible is the inspired Word of God, who love Jesus and trust Him as Savior, believe that evolution is God's mechanism of creating gradually over millions of years. I am one of those Christians. So what do you think about when your teacher or your friend talks about evolution? Do you brush it aside as being just a theory? Or does it seep down deep inside you and just make you feel uncomfortable and you don't even know why? Or do you just tune it out and learn to say what your teacher wants you to say on tests? Maybe you separate what you learn about in science class from what you learn about in church and you don't even try to reconcile the two. Maybe you reject the idea of evolution entirely. Maybe you believe that God created more suddenly and more recently and that's okay. I'm not here to change your mind and I'm certainly not here to shake up your faith. But what I want you to consider is that just maybe evolution is not heresy. That what we see through science, if we look at it through the lens of faith, is the very process that God used to create. And by understanding evolution, it might bring us to an even deeper and more profound view of our Creator. You see, evolution doesn't have to be seen as a godless purposes process with no plan or design. While it relies on what appears to be random processes, it's not random to God, it's God's process after all. It's God's method of creating continually, masterfully, and gradually. Just as an artist might use clay on a wheel or paint and brushes to create a wonderful assortment of masterpieces, God can use selection, variation, and mutation to create living things perfectly suited to an ever-changing environment. So why does evolution cause so much controversy in the church? Well, often scientists explain evolution is all one needs to know about how living things came to be. They're focusing on the brush strokes and they can't detect the artist. They make an assumption that the process is unguided and automatic. But we know through Christ all things were created, both visible and invisible, that Christ sustains life. He is before all things and in him all things hold together. He is the unseen, immeasurable artist creator. And this fact can't be measured or proven by science any more than it can be disproven. 